The neighborhood dudes think I'm no go, but they don't know. Girls ask who think you's a fool, but they don't know. What's poppin' YouTube? YouTube? It's your girl AP. Your boy Tony so far. And we're back at it again. What's poppin'? It's poppin'. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can see a little hint here in the background. We're gonna show you how we meal prep for the week. So Tony and I have set out our containers. So these are the containers we use. I think they hold 500 ounces. I don't know how much that is, but they're microwave safe. So we put all our meals in here. We've just got some ready now and then once we pack them we'll put them in the fridge and then we'll set some more up so this is all our containers ready to go we defrosted our chicken so we've got chicken thighs and chicken breast in there excuse my dishes i always keep my sink ready so when i'm cooking i can clean straight away cooking cook and clean cook and clean we've got some broccoli we've got some red curry sweet sweet soy and garlic some coconut cream that I'll just add a little bit to this so I'm being lazy normally I'll make it from scratch but because we're making like lots of different meals I think I'm gonna make up to three meals different types of meals I'm just gonna use something pre-made but it's alright usually I'm, I usually I make it from scratch but today we're just gonna use something already in the package so how many flavors are you using for today's meals so we're gonna do red curry yeah. sweet soy and garlic and then your chicken breast broccoli and rice yep so that's all out. We just got to get the scales as well as like our pots and pans and all the rest of it. But yeah, let's get this thing started. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just cutting the chicken breast. So I make, I put all the chicken breasts in this bowl, big bowl. And then I'm, afterwards I'm going to get another bowl and do the chicken thighs and put them in two separate bowls. Because before we cook it, Tony will, I mean after we cook it, Tony will weigh it. But... We have to know like the portions of each side, so chicken breast and thighs. Tony is cutting onion right now <laughs> in, in the back. So I'm crying. I'm not crying because she hit me. <laughs> <laughs> he's cutting onion, so he's getting that ready for some flavor. Once we finish the chicken breast and the chicken thighs, we'll start to cook it because it takes the longest to cook out of everything. And then we'll get some rice on. And probably cook the broccoli last because it only takes a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we're doing now. Question of the day Who washes their meat before they use it? I was just talking to Tony about it. Like, we wash everything we before we eat it chicken, whatever. Chicken breast, steak, lamb, doesn't matter. We, wa we wash it before we eat it. Mm. Do you guys do that? Question of the day, comment below if you don't. Do you guys do that? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is done. That's chicken breast. And when you put your meat, you don't just put it down so you... <laughs> That's what she found love me because I'm a good butcher. You're a good what? Butcher. <laughs> butcher boy. <laughs> you turn it around, bam. Nice and thin parts. And try to make all your each size the same. So when you cook it on a pan, it will keep cooked at the same time, yeah. Mmm, my baby no. Okay. Little master chef in in this house. Yeah. Tony's cutting the chicken thighs. Chicken breast is already cut and ready to go, so I just season my chicken breast with <laughs> <I'll stop. laughs> with seasoning, all purpose. So I put some of this on. I'll show you how much I use. What's that? All seasoning. All oh. seasoning, yeah. So like this much. It looks like a lot, but when you mix it in, it's not a lot at all. And then I'll wait till Tony finishes. The thighs, and I'll do that as well. We both. Hey. We love spice. Yeah, we do. So some ground cayenne pepper, which is really spicy. What so did you say? Ground cayenne. Cayenne, <laughs> isn't it? It's not cayenne. What is it? Cayenne. Ground cayenne pepper. I said that last time on the other one that we did. Yeah. Just a little bit, because this is actually very, very spicy. Well, not very, very. I'm being dramatic, but it's spicy. 
Some smoked paprika. What'd you say? Smoked paprika. Shut <laughs> 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 And some mixed herbs. Am I doing this whole thing here? Yeah. Keep it up. Good job, babes. So it should be looking something like this. And for all the couples that watch us, you know, um, better off doing it together. It'll be much faster, yeah? Yeah, much when you, faster. When you do it alone, it feels like you're going for years. You know? you know the good thing about like meal prepping? You're not gonna cheat, you know, you know. I still cheat. Oh shit. Just you. But like, you most likely might run cheap because you go to your fridge and there's already something, something packed to you. There's already something just on the go, just put in the microwave, bam, that's it. Prepare to fail, then you, oh. Fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. That's good also. Do you get it? Yes. What, what does it mean? I get it. Anyway guys. What does it mean? So, I don't know what Tony's talking about. But fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Yeah, I know. It was not mean. It means if you're failing, you're a failure. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that's how it's looking right now. It's just going to sit and rest for a little bit while we wait for Tony to finish up. Almost done. Almost done. Because... The flavors we used on the chicken, it's like very universal, so it'll go with everything. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Universal? Yeah. It means it'll go with everything. Oh, is that an actual thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> universal. <laughs> Out of the planet. It's very galaxy. <laughs> it's very solar system. It's very uh, Milky that. Way. <laughs> is that a real saying? It's a very Milky Way. Is, is that a real saying? <laughs> universal? Never heard of that, man. <laughs> We use chicken breast and chicken thigh just to mix it up. Like breast can be very dry and thigh is very juicy, but breast has less fat. That's right, yeah. yeah. Breast has less fat and thigh. The thigh meat is more high in fat. But if you mix it together, like you're gonna get the best of both worlds. You're not gonna be eating too much fats, and you're not gonna have too much like dry. You're not gonna enjoy your food as much. So we just mix it together. And... Oh, go baby! Well done. Yeah, so we just mix it together so it's a bit better and the thigh won't be as dry when you're eating your meal. I mean, the breast won't be as dry when you're eating your meal because, you know, you got some thigh in there. Alright guys, chicken's all ready to go. So I'm going to do two scoops of the chicken breast. One, two, and then two scoops of the chicken thigh food. One, two. Oh my gosh. You're a trust me. Oh my gosh. Don't drop it. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Woo hoo hoo. Woo. Go baby. <laughs> Alright guys, time for some broccoli. Sharp knife. Bang, bang. Is it hit? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Alright guys, time for some broccoli. Alright, I'm gonna stop showing off. <laughs> He's going in with the broccoli. Alright, so <laughs> this is where the broccoli ended up. I'll clean it up. Yeah. So remember, bang, bang. 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 <laughs> and then in it goes. And you don't have to fill it up to the top, the water. Because it's going to defrost. Because when it defrosts, it holds water, it holds that liquid. So what you want to do is, put it here, give the chicken a quick stir. It'll be fast, this thing. It'll be fast, it'll be like bang, bang. <laughs> Like what? Like bam bam. <laughs> you always have to be angry at the same time. The broccoli, you see, I got the rice at the same time. Yeah. I might get that a stir too. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Woo! Woo! Go, baby. Yeah. Alright, guys, so this chicken is cooked, so now we're gonna put it into this big bowl and then cook yeah. another lot. And then until this bowl's full and these ones are empty, then we'll start prepping it into the containers because we're gonna weigh it. We're gonna weigh how much is it? 100 grams of rice, and for broccoli, we're just gonna do like a cup's worth. This once it's cooked. Yeah, always check the inside, guys. You don't want freaking food poison, man. You won't enjoy that shit, okay. trust me. Teaspoon of oil. Again, two. Teaspoon or tablespoon? Oh, tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> two spoons of that, this and that. 
Yeah. Guys, as you can see, the rice is all done. So I want to show you how to um, weigh the food scale. So you can get this from any uh, Kmart, whatever. So what you want to do is put your plate, whatever your container on top, while it's still off. And then what you're going to do is turn on the button. Easy said, easy done. The reason why I say do it while it's off, because people tend to put the container or plate on and actually weigh it. You're not going to eat this, so put it on after it's ready on. And then what you're going to do, get your rice. So I'm going to do, be doing 100 grams in each container. So, see the numbers slowly go up. So right now we've got 49 grams, 97, and it's a little bang. 99, that's good enough, 99. Close that's enough. done, close enough, you know, round it off. I've got the same thing with this. Put it on, reset the, the scale, make sure it's on zero, and then fill it up with the rice. Until you get to 100 grams, oh, that's what we have. Whatever your goal is, whatever your calories are on, so 100, as you see, I went a bit over, take some out. Yeah, one or two, it doesn't have to be exact, you know. On the there. dot, there you On go. On the dot, that's two containers done. So you're gonna do that for all your containers, same for the chicken breast and everything else. I'll show you that later. But anyways, yeah, that's how you weigh your food on the scale. So you're gonna get you one of these bad boys. It's in here. This is the last round of cooking. So while this is cooking, I'm going to turn it down a bit. This is going to be meal one, which is going to be the red curry. So I'm going to put the red curry all in there. So babe, do you want to show them what it looks like? I'm just staring here to eat. Yep. It should look something like this. Alright guys, Tony's put all the meat, the uh, broccoli and the rice in, they're all done, so now we're just going to put the lids on, and Take then we're going yeah, to get them in the fridge, ready for the week, so we made 10 of these, we're going to put them in the fridge, and then put the new containers out for the next round of meals, pretty easy, teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the next one, the honey soy chicken, oh not honey soy, sweet soy chicken. So I added some broccolini in there and I just added a little bit more soy sauce because it was kind of like a sweeter taste, so I just added a little bit more soy. It is still sweet, but it's got more of the asian -y flavor. Alright guys, so that's the honey soy chicken cooking. This is the plain chicken rice and broccoli, so Tony's just going to do that. Once that's done, we've got one more round left with the rice, broccoli, and the honey soy chicken, and then we will be finished our meal prep video. Hey guys, Tony's doing the last one, putting them into the containers. This is the honey soy chicken. We're not being stingy on the broccoli. The actual <laughs> <laughs> meal has broccoli inside of it as well. Sure. Yeah. No stingy shit here, right? We just put the extras in the container. So Tony's gonna put that in, then we just gotta do the rice. Stack it up, pack it up, put it in the fridge, ready for the week. We just put the other ones in there. So we're getting nice and full. The last round's about to go in. Once, I think the rice is ready. So after he does the chicken, we'll put the rice in, yeah. pack it all up and get it in the fridge ready for the week. All right, guys, that is the last of the meals. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. You're going to be in my belly soon, mate. Tony's putting them into the fridge. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be eating you shortly. I'll be seeing all of you one by one. <laughs> you have a date. <laughs> and, uh, I just I magi magically put on these clothes by accident. By accident. Because I want to get to the gym. So. I'm going to put in some work. Guys, note to self. Look, cook as you clean. No mess at all. Oh, what's this part? That's you. What's you this? did that. You can wipe it up after. All right. So that's how we meal prep, guys. Let me turn this around. All right, guys. So that's how we meal prep. I hope it wasn't a full like. It wasn't full on, was it? It's uh, all right. I don't know, but my hands are. <laughs> guys, 
I made it Make sure you, work. you're grateful for this video. <laughs> but yeah, guys. <laughs> you're pointing the camera. Yeah, like, guys, oh, that's my roof over there. No. <laughs> no, but, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something about weighing your meals and separating everything and stuff and all that bullshit. But yeah, signing off once again. Make sure you like, comment, share with your friends and family. You already know what it is. It's your girl AP. Bo Tony. <laughs> Bo. Your Bo Tony so far. <laughs> Until next time. Peace. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's a nipple. <laughs>